Okay, jumping right into the video, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Blur Stick. This is a primer in the color Translucent. And as you guys see, I'm just going to put this all over my face and then I'm going to rub it in with my hands. Next, I'm taking this e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist and I'm just going to lightly spray that and you are going to fan your face to the gods, girl, fan. Now I'm just going to take my Maybelline um, foundation. This is a matte formula and they don't have my correct shade. So I do take one shade lighter and one shade darker than my complexion and use both. And then I'm just going to just buff that in like so. Next, I'm going to take this Maybelline. I do believe it's Maybelline um, concealer. This is um, their eraser concealer. And here I'm just going to apply this to the points of my face that I want to be highlighted or concealed. Now I'm gonna take my Airspun Translucent Setting Powder and lightly set my face. I'm only going to be putting this powder where I have highlighted. While my face is setting, I'm going to go in and start contouring just to bring some depth back into my face. As you guys see, I'm cutting my cheekbones like so, y'all, because I don't really have any like that. But yeah, I just want to go back in and add some warm tones back into my face. And I also apply this at the bottom, like up under my lip and my chin area, like so. And then I go in with my beauty blender that I use to set my face with my highlight um, and clean up my contour. And then I also use the same foundation brush that I use to blend in my foundation to tone down my concealer and to blend everything together. So it just looks like an air, blur, air blush, <laughs> airbrush effect. Now I'm just going to take a little eyeshadow brush and use the same powder that I used to contour my face to contour my nose. And I will also be going in with the eyeshadow blending brush to buff that out a little bit so I don't have any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to be taking the same eyeshadow brush that I used to um, buff out my hard lines on my nose to apply my um, eyeshadow. I'm just going for a neutral, soft brown look. We're not doing anything crazy. And you just want to blend that out until you get your desired look. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. This is a matte finish setting spray. And again, you just want to lightly spray and then fan till you are dry. And to complete my finished look, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild blush just to add a little bit more warmth and color to my cheekbones so it just looks more natural-esque, I think. And I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to the bridge of my nose, the button end of my nose, my eyebrows, my cubis bow, and my cheekbones. Now I'm going to take this lip liner and um, lipstick, I guess, two-in-one combo pencil. Um, I don't know the brand of it, but I got it from my local beauty supply store. And I'm just going to apply that all over. It's like a nude brown lip combo. And here I'm just putting the nude um, lipstick part on. And then I'm just going to line my lips with the brown liner. And then I'm going to go over that with a pink gloss and apply my lashes. And that will complete the natural beat makeup look. The company I will be working with today is by Lace Wig. Here is what comes in the packaging. Of course, it comes with the black net, um, a by Lace Wig brochure with tips and tricks on how to take care of your wig, and of a wig cap, of course. Once you have all of that, you want to go ahead and clean the perimeter of your forehead with 91% alcohol. And once you have that done, you want to make sure you have no makeup or any oils or grease on your hairline or your wig will not stick, sis. This is the hair. This is by Lace Wig. This is a 20 inch loose wave and 150 density. It is a 13 by six lace and it did come with combs on the side and combs in the back with adjustable straps. Once um, you have everything ready, you wanna go ahead and cut your lace off and lay everything down just to make sure everything is laying right. Cut off any excess lace that you don't need before you decide to glue everything down. For my install, I will be using the Got To Be Glued yellow bottle, and I'm just going to apply that with a popsicle stick and use the blow dryer in between. I'll be working from the middle and then working my way to the sides. Um, I like to do this process so I can get a better hand on the lace and I feel like I'm not laying everything down one at a time. You can do this however you want to, y'all. I'm not a professional. I'm not advising you and telling you this is the right way to do it. This is just the way I do it. But yeah. As you guys can see, I'm just putting the gel down on top of the ball cap and um, spreading it out lightly. And then I'm just going to go in with my blow dryer in between on a cool setting and use that until the gel gets tacky and then apply my lace down. Oh, 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 oh,
Once I have all my excess lace cut, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my baby hairs. I'm just going to do some simple swoops using the Got To Be Glued yellow bottle to keep my hairs intact. I like to use the Got To Be Glued yellow bottle because it makes sure that, you know, my baby hairs, they don't go anywhere, girl. They last for like at least a couple of days and I don't have to touch them at all. But yeah, I'm just doing, you know, simple little swoop in the middle and then two sides um, by my temples and of course my ear tabs. And y'all take Take your time when it comes to your baby hairs they don't come out um exactly how you want them all the time um exactly when you lay them down so take your time y'all i left all the extra clips so you guys could see that um it's not gonna happen the first time you swoop it or nothing like that but practice makes perfect To style my hair, I'm just going to get a spray bottle with just some water and lightly detangle the hair with my brush. I'm not going to add any product in this hair because it really honestly didn't need any product. Um, I got minimal tangling. Um, well, sorry, no tangling and then like minimal shedding. I do expect shedding with all curly hair. I don't know. I just think with the texture and how um, much curls and all that stuff you got going on is bound to shed. But other than that, I didn't get any tangling or anything. Um, the hair ran through the brush very smoothly. And like I said, there was no product in this hair. All I did use was water. And as you guys can see, the brush is just gliding through the hair like butter. All right, guys, this is the finished look, y'all. It's so fucking cute, like, right? It's just so cute. It looks so natural, so, so me. But again, this is by Lace Wig. This is their 20 inch loose wave. This is a 13 by 6, 150 density wig. If you guys like this company, all the links will be listed below in the description box. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Bye, guys.